Hi guys, my name is Laura and today I have a collective haul for you guys. So basically over the last few months I haven't really been filming YouTube videos but I have still been buying a lot of makeup so I thought that I would share that with you guys today. So if you'd like to see some products that I've recently purchased then just keep watching. So the first product that I got was from Lime Crime. This is actually a repurchase type of thing. It was on sale for Lime Crime for $10 so I was like you know what, I'm just gonna get it. Um, basically this is the True Love set and the reason why I got this, I know it sounds so lame, but basically Cupid, which is this shade here, is a shade that I wore to my date with my boyfriend for the first time and I kind of just told him that it was on sale and he was like just get it. It's like memories and I was like okay whatever. So I got it. So yeah, that's the story behind that. And then also from Lime Crime, I got the MILF set. So basically it looks like a cigarette. I'm gonna keep this packaging. I think it looks bomb ass. Like I don't smoke personally, but I just think it's cool, very cute packaging. You get four shades and, oh, so you get four shades. So the first shade is MILF, the same spelling as the packet, like M dollar sign LF. Then you also get, this shade is called Cougar. I haven't used any of these yet, but they look bomb as. And then this one is Low Cut. And then this one is the shade Stacy's Mum. Oh my God, like these literally are the most beautiful shades ever. Like I think this is one of my favorite Lime Crime collections besides the girls collection. That one was pretty beautiful as well. I also did like a big-ish order from Jouer. The first one that I got well, the first product that I got was a powder highlighter in the shade Skinny Dip. I love Jouer highlighters so much. Like, honestly, they are probably the best out there. Um, this one is in the shade Skinny Dip. It's like a bronze. I think it's really, really beautiful. And I think in the summertime, it'll look amazing, like, over the decolletage. So I thought I'd pick it up because it's a new collection. Jouer highlighters are bomb. And I just wanted it. The next one that I got is in the shade Rose Gold. I did get a few of the highlighters. This one is obviously a rose gold shade. I think this will be really, really nice as like a blush topper. So I thought I'd pick it up. If you can hear my sheep in the background, I'm so, so sorry. It's around their food time and my mum is feeding them. So they just always like cry. I have like six sheep and they're like little brats. But I love them so much. I decided to get a backup of my favorite highlighter in the shade Citrine. This one made it into my favorites video. So if you'd like to see that, then I'll link it down below. I love this highlighter so much, I had to get a backup. And then lucky last, I also got the shade Tan Lines from that Jouer collection. This one is kind of like a more bronzy one as well, because I think this was like their summer collection and we're going into summer in Australia. So I thought I'd pick it up because it's just gorgeous. And then I also got two of their mineral powders. This one is in the shade Pearly Fonce, I think it's pronounced. I got this as a bronzer because I really wanted to get suntan, but they were sold out, so I got this instead. Hopefully it is good. I have high hopes because UA products are just bomb overall. And then I also got the shade Pearly de Ivory. I, I know I'm butchering that, but whatever. It looks like this. I'm hoping that I can use it as like a face setting powder. Fingers crossed it's good. You do get a decent amount of product. You get 6.4 grams. So fingers crossed it is good. And then Lucky Last from Jouer is this product here. It is a conditioning lip treatment. I really, really like these. I think this is just in like either clear or like a pink. Yeah, like a clear color. And I just saw like such amazing reviews on the website and I was like, you know what? I need to give this a try because it sounds amazing. So I gave it a try. I haven't used it yet though. From Clinique, I did pick up a few things. This has literally been on my wish list for like two years and I'm finally getting it. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour in the shade Curvy Contour. So basically it is just a contouring stick. I've been loving cream contouring recently and because we're moving into the summertime I think this will be an amazing one. I haven't used it yet though. I'll probably use it in like a first impressions type video. I also got another Clinique foundation because I am obsessed with the Beyond Perfecting foundation so I thought that I'll give more Clinique foundations a try. So I got the Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup in the shade Golden Neutral. That's what I am in the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, so I thought I'd just pick it up in the same shade and hope it's the same. I think it'll match me. I think it's really, really good. It's really, really weird. Like, they look like an awkward shade when you hold it up, but then, like, they adapt to your skin really, really nicely. Like, this one... Yeah. Let's hope it matches. If it doesn't, whatever. 
And then I got another Clinique foundation because I love the Beyond Perfecting so much. This is the Even Better Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15. I like it because it has the SPF 15, so I thought I'd give it a try. This one is in the shade Golden Neutral, but it's number 16. So hopefully this matches me. I have high hopes for this though, because I saw like really amazing reviews of this as well. Also, I'm sorry about my voice. I'm still recovering from laryngitis. Like I've got my voice back, but it's still like really... Blah. Anyway, the next thing that I got was also from Clinique and it is the Clinique blended face powder and brush. This is the brush it comes with. I probably will keep this for like my bag, but I don't have high hopes. Like it's really, really scratchy feeling. So I probably won't use this very much, but it's okay for an emergency. And then this is the powder here. I got it mine in the shade 8 Transparency Neutral. So hopefully it's good. I haven't used it yet though. But if it is good, you guys will definitely know about it. This product I got around my birthday. This is the Huda Beauty Textured Shadows Palette in the Rose Gold Edition. So this is what the palette looks like. I am so beyond pissed. When I got it, this black shade literally fell out. Like, are you being serious? Like I paid $90, like $95 for an eyeshadow palette and it falls out. No thanks. But I haven't used this palette yet. Hopefully it is good. Apparently they're discontinuing it now, which is like a mess, but whatever. Because I kind of bought it for like reviews and like tutorials and stuff. And now they're discontinuing it. It's like, you just need to like settle down on like the releasing and the discontinuing and the releasing and the discontinuing. Like settle down, man. I got a few things from The Ordinary. So the first thing that I got was the Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. I don't know what any of that is, but I saw Goss Makeup Artist mention this and referring to it as like an eye serum. So fingers crossed that this is good. I haven't used it yet, but it looks really, really thick in the bottle. Whatever. Hopefully it's good. And then I also got the Glucoside Solution. I think it's pronounced. I'm not really too sure. It's just basically a brightening serum with stabilized vitamin C derivatives. Interesting. I really like the Ordinary products. I feel like they do a really, really good job. They're not overpriced and I just really, really like them. I also got the Sweet Peach Glow Palette. I've been wanting this for a while, so I thought I'd pick it up around my birthday time and I just still haven't used it because I wanted to show it in a haul. Um, this is what it looks like here. And it's basically just like one of those like Neapolitan palettes where you got like your bronzer blush and highlighter but yeah it just looks like a really really gorgeous palette so i thought i'd pick it up because i don't know i just thought it'd be a good idea i also got one of these Too faced melted matte liquid lipsticks this one is in the shade granny panties granny panties it's basically just like a gray purple i did wear it one time and it was more gray than what i expected it to be but yeah I really do like the formula though. I feel like it does last quite a long time and I'll definitely pick up a few more of these if I get a chance to because they're actually quite nice. And then just a few little things from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I did pick up a liquid lipstick. This one is in the shade Stripped. I've heard a lot of good things about this shade. It's just like a really, really beautiful like pinky nude, like more on the nude side. So I thought I'd pick it up because I really do like Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I have a purple one and a red one. So I thought I'd pick up a nude because they're just really, really good. Then I picked up another bow and arrow because I lost mine, but then I found it after I bought this. So whatever. And then I also decided to pick up the shade Lovecraft. It is this color here. I also own the shade Mother. So that is it compared. It's like definitely Mother's the top one and then Lovecraft is the bottom one. It's definitely more on the neutral side and less bright, but I just really, really like Kat Von D liquid lipstick. So I thought I'd pick up that one because I just really, really like them. Okay guys, so that is all the products that I've recently purchased. I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely don't forget to press the subscribe button down below so you can see more from me. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.